good morning guys um welcome back to my channel and it's a long time after which i'm uploading my video so i know i'm super busy with other work so but i'm here again with a video of how to download free images from your website of usgs earth explorer so here is the website where you can see earthexplorer.usgs.gov and you need to have a login id so that you can go back and log in right here so i've kept everything open so that it's you're doing good for everyone so let's go to the search criteria and if you're aware of the place which you're looking for then it's good if you are not sure about the address or place then what you can do is you can click on the path and row if you know the path and row number then you can directly input that and select the area which you are interested in but if you're not sure then you can go to the address and place so let me select one I will go and search for Philadelphia and yep the Philadelphia PA US Pennsylvania so it's pointing right here let's see the latitude and longitude still we are not sure which the path and row is all we can go is we can select this data set there are a lot of data set which they are showing us right here aerial image classified digital maps landsat images sentinel images isro isro images so what i'm looking is at the landsat images which i would require for doing different kind of classifications and i usually go for the landsat collection one level one because they have a download option so i will be selecting landsat 7 if you want the latest image go for 8 okay i'll go for an 8 one as of now and that would give me a latest one there are four landsat 4 and 5 too if you want an older image from previous years when these landsats were working so let's select landsat 8 and go to the results so once you go to the result it will search and bring different kind of options for you let me see the data set oops okay so it is data set Landsat 8 and yep you can see then options and different kind of so the first one go and see it's heavily covered with cloud so if you click on the little box right there it's fully covered with cloud so these kind of images won't be of any use if you scroll down further there's a metadata you can see that the land cover is 100% so that won't be any use to you or anyone so let's go back and see which one we can work with so again the 21st December 2017 it looks pretty good and if you go down you can see Lancet cover image 1.63 and 1.5 I won't say they are the best you can get but there are better ones which have zero cloud cover but I would go with this one so you can find pretty small options right there so there's a footprint option which shows which all area it covers like Philadelphia, Cherry Hill, New York city and some part of the ocean so it pretty much shows whatever it covers in this one tile and it has Edison, Princeton everything so we can see a download option if you click on them there are a couple of options you can see so the first three are the one which only gives simple small images like thermal image, quality image and natural image. If you are going for a TIFF image where you need to classify stuff then go for the last one. That is a pretty big file that is somewhere around more than 800 MB. It would take time but this is the perfect one where you can go and download. But if you are just looking for a picture then go for the first three. So I would go for the last one that is the Geo TIFF data product. once you click on the download it will start lo downloading below oh gosh it's taking four hours I guess my internet is pretty slow so it might take some time usually these files are pretty big and they have two kind of uh, two type of compre compression done on them one is TAR GZ you can go ahead with uh, any kind of decompressor and unzip these files and get different kind of
so you can get different kind of uh, unzip tool on the internet and unzip them and you will be getting a couple of bands whatever a number of bands this Lancet 8 would be containing so you can use any of the GIS tool to open them and use them and you can further go ahead with any kind of classification you're looking for any kind of data analysis so this much this is how we do it thank you guys for watching my video thank you